Since I'm an idiot, I can't remember if at the end of the Ravelin video I stated that I was going to be playing uh, Team Fortress Classic maps from here on out. Um, not always, but um, the thing is I've gotten kind of busy and I've built up a queue of maps. I have like four Team Fortress Classic maps plus oppos two opposing force ones i got to get done. Uh, plus Hunted at some point. I don't know if I... I also forget if I br brought up... I still do intend to do Hunted for this game at some point, but I'm just, I, I don't know if my body's ready just yet. So, we're going to talk about, anyway, back on topic, we're going to get some custom maps done for this game, because, you know, that's, I think, what a lot of people want to see out of, like, a map series like this. You know, people want to see the official map, sure. And I'm happy that I was able to get all of them but one done. But, you know, ultimately, you know, there's a there's also history to be discussed with the custom maps, even more so, because, you know, the future generations, you know, these maps don't come with the game when you install it. So, yeah, this game might be on Steam forever, with the official maps, but who's to say that, you know, how many custom maps have been lost to the sands of time just because their downloads have been taken down and no one feels like re-uploading them? Or, in a case of a couple maps, I know they weren't even ever on the internet. You had to get them off of discs and stuff like that. They're out there. I might point them out more thoroughly one day. Um, so, you know, let's let's start talking about the custom maps. And I'll, I'll do these with Half-Life and maybe even Opposing Force at some point. Uh, first up is Palermo. Which, despite being pretty famous from what I understand, I never actually played. I don't ever recall it on any, like, server I played on. Uh, let's look at the readme, because, you know, readmes come with these things. So, this was done by someone named Brian Zwav Dillo? I hope I said that wrong. Or, actually, no, I hope I said it right, sorry. So, yeah, here you go, Palermo, yeah. D don't bug them with this email, in fact, I should just delete this, I apologize. Not that these even probably work anymore. Uh, description, command point map in the style of Kazanel Zone 2, which is entirely wrong because it's a command point, uh, map in the style of Avanti, which is took obvious influence from, so I don't know why they didn't change that. Uh, as you can see, they made a bunch of other maps that I do not recall ever have played. Um, I've seen Osaka listed. There's a good chance maybe I have played this one because I swear I, I remember playing in a map by that like that, but I'm probably wrong. These other ones, no idea. Uh, obviously it's two team. I actually go, despite, ironically, despite being 10 to 16 players recommended, I'd say 32. 32 works great here. Yeah, new textures, new sounds, that's true, true. Worldcraft, um, which, if you don't know, is the same as Hammer, just an older version of it. Uh, five months, yeah, yeah. You know, not that I'm trying to skim through this, it's just, you know, this is not what you people are here for, I'd imagine. Not that I'd ever want to dissuade the amount of time that someone took in, like, making a map, because you can see it could take a while to make sometimes. We know how to install. So yeah, game rules. Palermo. Invade and defend. Yeah, see, this is this is more actually what it's like. I don't know why this description's up here. You gotta be the blue team. Blue team starts as the attacker. Red team starts as the defender. The attacking team starts across the bridge and must take control of the town by around the town. Okay. Uh, and taking control of command points sequentially. So it's Avanti. The defending team simply tries to hold out as long as they can. Once attackers succeed, team swaps and play begins next. Command points are captured by taking the flag from the previous point and carrying it to the next. When the command point is secured, flag required to capture the next cap to command point appears on top of it. For example, the flag need to capture command point three will always spawn at command point two. Avanti! I can't make that straight enough up. Scoring, yeah, there you go. Ten points per command point captured if you're attacking team, defending team. Points are awarded over time for defending the town. Some additional information were that the custom surrounds in the map were created by Limey at a website that probably doesn't exist anymore. Special thanks to all the COG regular, um, J regulars at this website here that play tested the map and offered feedback. Here's some copyright stuff. We cannot distribute this level unless you include this file without modification. Well, I'll be including a link with the, this file in that link anyway, so we're good. You may not use this level as a base to build additional levels, which, you know, considering how crap, you know, it is to develop, like, the decompile, um, gold source BSP files anyway, I wouldn't want to do that. You may not, this BSP may be distributed only over the internet or BPS systems, we're good there. You are not authorized to put this map or any of its associated files on any CD or distribute it in any way without my permission. Well, I, I assume a YouTube link is probably going to be fine. Yeah. Oh, well, oh, crap. I did that thing. I did the thing where I accidentally resized the game. Oh, God. You want to see some cursed? You want to see some cursed bullshit? Oh, it's terrible. Oh, it's God. I got to restart the game. That's better. Let's go. Well, let's actually talk about the map a little bit. Um, I'm using the latest version of Foxbox, which um, it does mostly work. The bots move around the map just fine. They don't under If they're the attacking team, though, they don't quite understand where the first command point is. 
they seem to only be trying to go for the last one. So if you're actually expecting to have the bots do like actually move past the beginning, you'll be sorely mistaken. So I won't be showing the defending team. I will be only showing off how this map plays as the attacking team. Um, you know, maybe it'd work, work better in an older version of uh, Foxbot. It works well enough that I don't feel like d dicking around with older Foxbox. I know, I'm lazy. Sue me. So the thing about this is that um, this looks really nice for the like technology level at the time. I should probably mention, find out real, real quick when this map was actually distributed. Hold on. I'm going to assume it was created um, either, or it was finished, the map file, the BSP file, is dated August 17, 2002. So this is a 20-year-old map. In fact, it was almost his 20th birthday. I really didn't time that. Um, anyway, so this is actually before Ravelin. So yeah, they were, there were a lot of really good custom maps already being made well before like some of the best official maps were even created. Or even they were all, I don't know what the point I was trying to make there. So anyway, yeah, so like I said, it's like Avanti, and you can tell that it's Italian again. I think Parlermo, I hope I've been saying that right, is actually a real town or city. So yeah, obviously here's the spawn point for the Blues. Again, the atmosphere is just going to be really nice. I will say, though, one shit pick I have with the map itself is that some of these interiors are just way too damn dark. I'm at the normal, like, you know, brightness settings I usually use for this, like, these map videos. You can just see that it's, like, stupid dark. But it's really not a big deal. And, you know, there's this nice little... This is actually a nice, cool little sniping area, so keep track of that. If you come out here, obviously, you got your little spawn here. There's actually some grenades to pick up. There's actually a lot of grenades to pick up in this map, from what I remember. So, this is where the flag would normally be. Um, apparently, we die if we you try to grab it, so I, don't, I guess Dave's got a death wish. Um, here's a little joke that no one's going to get nowadays. I'm not even sure if I get it. I think before, you know, good players called crappy players noobs. They called them llamas or something. I could be wrong. I need some, like... Like, you know, ancient wizard of the Team Fortress classic olden days to tell me. So, yeah, this is where the be fight would begin. But, because, again, red team just never comes this way. Because they're too busy focusing on a later capture point. So, you know, expect heavy opposition on a normal server. You got two ways to go here. You can come out this way. Which I forgot that this is actually not an exit. I thought there was an entrance here. Or, like, a little way to go out. But just sniping. You know, actually useful. Hard to get through, but you could probably chuck a grenade if you know what you're doing. Another little aesthetic thing is, as good as this map looks, and like this is a nice little custom uh, skybox, I think here, with some other nice custom textures. It's like it's like Super Mario 64 syndrome. It's floating in the void, so that's a little bit goofy. Can't really blame him though. So you got some supplies, more grenades. Pick them up if you're trying to get through here. It's gonna be a little bit choky here, so watch out. I think you might be able to get on the roofs, but I haven't tried it. Yeah, that's funny. Um, so come over here. So this is where Command Point One would normally be. But the bots are too stupid to figure it out, so they'll never come up this way. So yeah, here is where it would normally be. You know, obviously, you know, the defending... Uh, red team's going to be building some stuff up here, and I recommend some good sentries. I mean, I don't even know if you could get grenades that high, so this could be a really hard place to break through. Uh, keep these roofs in mind, because they're going to be very important. So going from capture point one here, you got some more stuff, which is... This is where the bots like to go. You can see the heavy weapons guy here. See, he's well past command point two. Or command point one, and I don't know what exactly he's trying to accomplish scientifically. But here's some nice points to build up stuff if you're the defending team. Or, you know, nice vantage points if you're trying to break this way as the, you know, attacker. And this is going to lead up, actually, into a whole other area of the map. Uh, this is not where command point two is, but keep this little area in mind. Command point two is actually this way. It's not in the tower, it's actually down here, but they just put that way up so you know. Which is a nice little feat here. And that's why I said keep an eye on the roofs, because you can go over here. And I'm pretty sure you could, like, conk jump over into, like, the command point here, or even rocket jump if you know what you're doing. So there's a lot. And even defenders can go back up over this way and try to defend. So there's a lot of strategic, like, opportunity here. Yeah, cool. Um, so here's that little aside area earlier. If you want to come in here to get a sniper point, assuming you brought 10 flashlights, because, again, you're not actually going to see the climb up here. Not that it's going to be super hard, but yeah, there are plenty. There's a great, can like, sniping spot if you need it. Um, I think if you go all the way up, just, you know, another good sniping spot, and you can even get out from here. So yeah, not, don't try to go in here if you're trying to capture anything, but if you're trying to defend, go for it. So you grab capture point two, and you can go through here, which is really dangerous, because not only are you going to have people probably building sentries and teleports and dispensers here, but there's just going to be a snipers on your ass this way, so you got to be really careful. Uh, command point three is not too far out. 
You got some places to build some stuff or be heavy weapons guy or demo man and just build up your defense. Let's go up here real quick here because it's getting close to that one little area I talked about earlier. Now this is kind of a shortcut for the defenders here. I can't read that. I'll just pretend that it says I'm the greatest person of all time for making these map videos. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, this is also a good way if you're attacking to try to come around, especially to get to command point three. I, d I think that's kind of obvious, but I figured I'd spell that out a little bit more. You also got this overpass here for sniping, sentries. Use it wisely, as always. And here's some little other areas here. This is unique because if you go this way, I am pretty certain... You can blow this up with the debt pack, and that will give you some access to command point four. But we'll get to that in a bit. You also got this little area over here, which is just an area. And see, the way the light breaks here, like the lighting didn't really go through. I, I always thought, when I first played this, I thought you could blow this up too, but no, it's just, it's, it's here. You see into the other space. Not good. Come back out. And yeah, uh, yeah, here's just more of the little area around command, command point three, and this is a way you could go to get to command point four if you desire. I know, like, obviously, I, I would recommend the, the the debt packing the wall there just to be a little safer. Again, if you could somehow see in the dark, you can come up here, get a great sniping point, which, um, you know, that's that's kind of trash. I, I'm not really going to blame uh, the author for that because, you know, having all that stuff rendered over there probably wouldn't have been a good time. But, yeah, it's a little bit weird looking that, you know, it's just there's nothing there, but you, technically there's a bunch there. I can forgive, though. So yeah, you got a lot of opportunities here. Build up your like defenses, sentry guns, stuff like that. You got this nice little not fountain thing. I li I'd like to stand on that just because. Um, come over here. This leaks back to that wall, I think. Yeah, here's the other side of the wall. So you're gonna if you're defending, make sure you keep an eye on this at all times because you know there's do those demo men are gonna be busting their ass through there. Got a nice place to build some stuff. Get down real fast if you need to. Command point four is on the bridge here, so you can go around if you need to uh, as the slower classes and do that. Or you can just probably rock a drunken cop jump up. Uh, obviously, since the spawn's right over here, you're going to have to be quick. Uh, Fuhrer. The Fuhrer. I'm, I'm, I think they're calling him the Fuhrer. I think that's what they're calling him. My German is pretty basic. Ich verstehe sie ein bisschen Deutsch. Anyway, um... Yeah, that's that's the map, you know. It, it's it's good. It's it's well, I beside from what I played, my opinion of it is a little bit biased because I've not actually played this. Um, or at least I I have no recollection of ever playing this with other people. But it's one of the more popular maps just from my research. So I don't know why I never happened to see it anywhere. Uh, from what little I played with the bots, so it was a pretty good time. I might actually like the aesthetic and general flow and strategy of the map more than it's uh. Kind of, you know, inspiration, uh, Avanti. But, you know, let's let's play a bit. Alright, just because the bots are a little stupid, I am going to have to take a massive initiative, an un un unusual amount of initiative to get things done. So I'm going to go scout just to grab the flag. Because at least, the problem is, if I don't do this now, the bots are going to keep trying to grab it and keep going to go, they're going to keep walking past point one here. And then, like, you know, the flag's just going to get lost way deeper in the map than it should be. Then I won't be able to pick it up. And when I'm trying to pick it up, it's going to really like despawn and respawn here. And then another retard bot's going to pick it up. So my only hope is that I need to capture point one immediately, which they seem to ignore. And then after that, I should be able to just play this map semi-normally. I'm hoping. No no promises. Yeah, see, look at that. That's what I mean. There's no just no bots. The red team should be building up the, like, their defenses and fortifications right now, but they're just not because they're silly. They're goofy. Well, they're actually, uh, some of them are coming over here, but that took them way too long. I'm going to let them, the guy, these guys go first, though. Because then that way I don't have to deal with anything. I would still imagine the, uh, the sniper bots would still try to get me ASAP if they see me. I actually don't know if Fox bots, like the sniper bots, actually prioritize, like, the person with the flag or anything like that. I want to see if I could... You can! Okay! So there's a, there's a pro strat that I'm probably not the first one at all to point this out. But, you know, there you go. Alright, who, who else is... Well, considering that there's, all the other classes are co covered right now on our team, I think I'll be scout. I'll keep being scout for a bit. We'll keep checking up, though. Yeah, see? You gotta wait. So now, 
I want to see, um, because again, I, this is a little bit fresh. Oh, I don't got any grenades. Well, we'll just go. Now this is where the map actually plays semi-normally, because I should be trying to get over here now. Oh, there you go. I, I actually forgot that these staircases existed. Like, this, like the staircase existed here, so I can actually go this way. And the bots don't seem to understand they should be defending here. See what I mean? They're trying to defend, like, point three and by that extension four. Which is goofy. I don't know why they're like that. Like, they, they can clearly come up this way. Seeing as that, like, one bot there just walked up. Oh, yeah, and by the way, as you see, as you capture the points, uh, you move up. Your spawn point moves up. Which I think is like Avanti anyway, so there you go. I'm wondering now if Foxbot will actually figure out to grab the flag here. And try to get over to command point three here. We'll just have to find out. Oh, maybe not. Oh, God, this was a bad idea. What I... Well, that was really stupid. What, what was I thinking was going to happen? Oh, they'll just let me have it. See, fo red, the red fox bots at least are getting it. They need to defend that, so. Like, it's, I don't, I actually don't think it's a waypoint thing. I actually think it's a behavior thing. Or maybe it's a waypoint thing. I don't know. All right, here we go. I, sh I should be grabbing grenades, but I'm not. Okay, I need to go around. I don't think they'll expect me from up here for some reason. I actually forget too, because I haven't played. I thought this would be too like slow, like kind of steep to climb up, but it seems if you got enough speed, it'll actually let you do it. At least if you jump there. All right, let's see if they're smart enough to. Nope, they're not smart. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Help me, guys! Help me! I'm trying to get the flag. I got no grenades. Damn it! You still there? Maybe not. Maybe he lost interest. It is my time to shine. Yes. Ah! Yeah, I, I keep doing that. I really need to grab the grenades. When I said there was a lot of grenades, I was a little bit confused. They're more on the beginning here. Um, there probably are a few other spawns for them. I just didn't notice, or that were that just were not marked as grenades. So yeah, if you're on command point three and four, and you're trying to actually capture this fucker, uh, you should probably grab some uh, grenades too. You know, this I don't I don't really think I'm teaching anybody by that, that by telling them that, but you know. I'm just struggling. Why are there no stairs here? You know, in a real town, would you have really built them this like that? Maybe it's like for wheelchair accessibility, which is nice. Nice, I'm not going to lie. But it just, it's weird. This map gives me a really Mario 64 vibe, for better or for worse. Like, obviously, it looks way higher res and, like, better lighting effects. But, you know, just that kind of void feel. A lot of kind of weird abstract shapes, in my opinion. It's a nice place to be, I suppose. I mean, would you really want to be- Oh, you fucking assholes! Would you really want to be in Mario 64? Like, just a bunch of worlds floating over a void? I mean, I know not every level in that game is just floating precariously over nothing. But, you know, you're stuck in a little, like, painting area. How the hell does Mario even get out from, like, by going to the pause menu? I don't even think most people have a pause menu to work with in real life. Oh, someone grabbed the flag? Alright. Well, I guess I'm going to try to deal with the sentry over here. It's probably still here. Yeah, I see it. Ha! My active subterfuge. Well, I don't know where the other flag is, so I'm just going to drop some cow drops. Knowing uh, my luck, the bots have done something really stupid with it, and it's probably like a mile away from where it's supposed to be. It's probably in that fucking tunnel, which is not a good place. Oh, no, it's right here. Cardinal! Cardinal! Don't make me kick you! Don't make me kick you! What are you doing? I mean, you've obviously been damaged because you're walking slow. Maybe just shit your pants, I don't know. Go to the bathroom, clean yourself up, goodness gracious. I, I might have to... We'll, we'll see, I'm, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt here. You're hopeless. You're fucking worthless! Alright, so I think, assuming they... In the time that those shenanigans were going on, they haven't built another sentry gun. Which would be suboptimal for me, of course. Let's fucking do it. Ah, oh, fuck you! Ha! You charlatans! You should have been paying attention above you, not down there. You know, I probably should be blow... No, hold on. I should be blowing up that one thing there. What am I doing? I should take advantage of the situation. I was going to be medic because there's no medics, of course. You know, but you know, let's, let's, let's go. See, it just, it looks, that looks trash. It looks like reality itself is crying. And that's no good. 
It's a shame because it, this map is so aesthetically well done besides that, so... I mean, they probably again, it was probably just a performance thing, because remember, computers in 2002... Uh, see, there's a little... I think maybe only the scout, there's a little bit of a, like, a... Thing here. Yeah, okay, if you can make... You see that? If you can get past this little ridge here, then you can walk up just fine. Which is, I don't, that's pr I feel that was actually a stylistic choice. Versus the actual, like, glitch. But yeah, here we go. I guess you gotta remember, computers in 2002 were obviously way slower than the, what I got. Even my crappy, like, to be, like, potato computer. Like, is way faster than anything back in the day, so, you know. That's probably, he just said screw it and didn't bother for performance reasons. But it just bugs me. It doesn't, it shouldn't look that way, you know? I guess that sniper does just not, is so focused, he doesn't even realize what's going on. Now he does! Of course he jumps over my freaking grenades. Alright, let's do this. Medic time. Medic time! Yeah, there are no other grenades to pick up on the, once you go deep enough. He was pro probably, the thinking was that they didn't want there to be a bunch of spam or anything like that, but still, it's like, ah. Uh, Ah! I should probably be trying to get the flag. What am I doing? Alright, I'm gonna stick around because I have no idea where the hell this flag is. I'm assuming the bots did something stupid, so I'm gonna just stay right the fuck here. Oh, come on! I'm- I'm standing here! I'm pretty sure there is a Mario 64 Team Fortress Classic map. I haven't personally played it or know the name of, but it's one of those things where you like any little... I was about to say Naomi. Naomi. Naomi! Get it, get it! Don't you fucking dare! Don't you fucking dare! Alright, my time to shine. There's no way they're counting on this. You fool! You fools! You fools! You fucking fools! Oh, of course! Alright, it's still, it's still active. I just need to prime this grenade way too early. God damn it! Well, look at oh. Good, now I have to find the goddamn flag! No! 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 Cardinal! You son of a bitch! I mean, Naomi! I mean, Clay! Fuck everybody! I'm like, it's gonna be a- this is the real challenge now. Just stopping the bots from grabbing it when they're not supposed to. Ugh! I... Thought that might work. Huh. It actually did. I'm actually genuinely shocked. 